Bill Clancy. From Venezuela, Nicholas Ildago. Tomorrow from Betty. Star. The three judges assign Kevin Kingpin Judson Anthony Joshua. Boxers. I suppose you both, you both know the rules. What's the heads? Keep the punches Shut up. Break. You break clean. And remember, defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands. Well, can Anthony Joshua bring up stoppage number 13? Does Kevin, whether it goes that long, remains to be seen, and we're about to find out. Joshua versus Kevin Johnson. Johnson's been, been working with Peter Fury, Tyson's uncle. And the corner is being run by Clifton Mitchell. Tonight, who is also part of the... The Tyson Fury team. Joshua. Who knows, maybe even like get a few through and yeah. test his chin out for us. But uh, we'll find out how much ambition. Bit by bit. Because the record would suggest your ability. There's the first big right hand landing. Followed up by a left. And Johnson already in big trouble here. Is that the best you've got? But he was shaken, Jim. And there's a body shot coming in as Joshua continues to fall. See, I just feel that Joshua, when the time comes, will punch late. Jo Johnson didn't see it coming. Beautifully delivered that was. And Johnson doesn't have anything to keep Joshua off him. He's feeling this already. Well, I think he's starting to think, well, it's easy to talk. It's so easy to deliver. Johnson is back, back for all he's worth here as Joshua... Continues just to zero in on him, taking his time, couldn't land the right hand that time. Just out of range there as well, but it's survival mode already, this, for Kevin Johnson, who tries to with Ali's where comparisons with Ali end. Well, Johnson's never easy to catch cleanly, but uh, when it reaches the stage that Joshua doesn't have to worry about what's coming back, you expect he'll just march through at least. Joshua once again and nails him! Right hand! Last 10 seconds, somebody's throwing something in the ring. He hasn't seen it. Now he's got rid of it, but can Johnson survive? Joshua looking up to blitz him in there. Inside around, there goes the bell, and Johnson is finished. Destroyed. When he come up off the floor, really, he should not be allowed. You can see this happening pretty much as soon as the match was made. Johnson has nothing to keep Anthony Joshua off. And those were terrific punches. Really, again, he's a proud man. But I don't see any point in sending him out for the next round, but it seems he's not doing it. Well, Clifton, it's your call if you want to go on. As you say, Jim, brave man. And of Anthony Joshua's. And it's not a case of if, it's when. And that when looks like it's going to be any second now. He is in terrible, terrible trouble here. Just get getting him out blown of apart. Get him out of there. Ian John Lewis, he's throwing nothing back. What is the point in this? He's just desperately trying to cover up, trying to block these right hands. And nothing but trying to survive. Nothing in his legs. Look, his legs have gone. He is stunned. Josh Johnson saw that one coming. Oh, looking around a double jab, but just takes a jab. And then just clip with that long right hand. Trapped in a neutral corner. I'm, I'm amazed he's lasted this long. The punches he's taken there. Well, that reputation for durability is where well. much longer can this go on? And it's stopped. It's over. Done. Inside two rounds. King pin. Joshua. And the biggest smile in the place belongs to Anthony Joshua, who does it again. No one's come close to doing that to Kevin Johnson. I fancied it would happen, but uh, nobody has done that to him before. But uh, Anthony Joshua off the lead sooner rather than later. What is the point putting him in with people that you can just to stand up to him? What a terrific talent this young man is. I just said a few a, a few fights ago, Jim. I said eight. eight of him. Name five. How many are there? I mean, that was pure destruction. He okay. just Johnson. It was vicious and it was calculated. Who do we suggest? Tony Thompson. Uh, Price, 
You know, but the, he, he wants left. an opponent with who he'll get credit. He wants credit for the victories that he's going to achieve. And until they step up the opposition, and, and they this won't is, get that. And this is it, Joshua, it right now. Yep, I agree with that, Nick. Yep, I mean, we don't want to see him overstretched. But uh, we good. certainly, for the level he's been performing at. But look at the smile on his face there. I think when he came in here, and he made it. Said he wanted to do some damage. He absolutely destroyed Kevin Johnson, the man. The AJ from the UK. Anthony Joshua. Once again, those three ringside judges weren't needed. Anthony Joshua did it again. So let's have a look at the tally. Four first round stoppages, six now in the second, three in the third. He'll probably go back in his dressing room now and uh, put in a few rounds on the pads. That's what he usually does. Well, we still have our main event to come, that all-British welterweight world title fight. Kel Brook in action, defending his title against Frankie Gavin. There's Kel just warming up with Dominic Ingle, his regular trainer. What a fantastic job Dominic Ingle has done with this fella, keeping him focused. But you get the sense after all that's happened in Kel Brook's career, inside and outside of the ring, this man has now put it all together. He gets it. Well, the best you feel to be yet to come for Kel Brook. Camp Frankie Gavin, of course, feels very much otherwise. But this is a night where he has a lot to gain. And frankly, nothing to lose. It's a big, big step up. The bookies don't fancy him one little bit. But upsets happen all the time in this business. That is why we love it. Kel Brook, Frankie Gavin, coming next. But right now, let's Enjoy go and that join... Experience. I really enjoy boxing. Training's a hard part of the game, you know what I mean? I get two days to rest in between fights. I really uh, get my head down, play a bit of FIFA, I chill out with the boys. And I come out here and perform in front of everyone that comes out to support me. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. It's an incredible reception in London for you. Yeah, man. You know, I've travelled around so many different uh, places under matching promotions, but this place is becoming like my home and it's filling out more and more every time. So shout out to everyone that's been here to support and shout out to all the new faces as well. Talk us through the performance. The right hand was lo lovely landing continually on Johnson, who'd never been stopped before. Yeah, but you know, this is what I'm here to do. I'm here to try and make statements. But my coach really drills me in the gym. And it's only right that the hard work pays off. You know the saying, hard work pays off. And believe me, boxing's a tough sport, so. And I want to dedicate that to Mitchell and John Ryder, my teammates as well, because that's a, a tough night tonight. It's been difficult with them both losing and then having to come in here and perform afterwards. Sorry? It must have been difficult with them both losing and then having to come yeah. in there. Because we all share a changing room, and it's an individual sport, but they're all my stable mates. But they bounce back. This is sport, you know what I mean? Johnson's going to bounce back. This is what can happen in the sport of boxing, but they're true warriors, man, so take my hat off to them. And good luck to Kelbrook and Frankie Gavin.